Hi. Robotics in gynecology is a kind of minimal access surgery. Uh, these are like making keyhole incisions in the abdomen and the robo is attached to the patient and it's essentially the surgeon who does the surgery. If you look at gynecology, the common problems in women are because of bleeding problems during periods time and sometimes they have some tumors in the uterus like fibroids. Um, sometimes they may require only fibroid removal like myomectomy or sometimes they may need removal of the uterus. For any of these surgeries, robotics is a wonderful option, uh, mainly because of the precision of surgery, the amount of magnification that you get during the surgery. Also, the blood loss during the procedure is very low. If you look at myomectomy, one of the commonest surgeries, the incidence of fibroids is about 25% in women in the reproductive age group. Removal of the fibroid uh, with the robo, the view is extremely very good. It is three-dimensional. The amount of blood loss during the surgery is very less and also the post-operative recovery time is very fast. In fact, many patients we do as daycare procedure also. We admit in the morning and the patients can go home the same day in the evening and get back to their routine activities. Apart from this, another issue which uh, women face is endometriosis. Now, endometriosis is essentially it can form as a cyst in the ovaries or they can be what is called as adenomyosis in the uterus. So when they require treatment for this, removal of the ovarian cyst or the endometriotic cyst, which is commonly known as the chocolate cyst. Now this can form a lot of adhesions inside. Now when this is stuck, especially when the uterus is stuck to the rectum or it, when the ureters, that is the urine pipes are being pulled up and there can be a lot of adhesions. In this case, the robotics is especially very useful because it gives you an adequate uh, you know, visualization of the field, a precision in dissection of all these organs and it helps in delineating the structures much better. Hence the morbidity after the surgery is very less and also the recovery of the patient is very good. Uh, the other area where uh, robo I feel is very very useful is in uterine cancers, especially the cancers of the endometrium. Endometrial cancers, uh, when it is done robotically, uh, the clearance, that is the pelvic node clearance especially, is very good with the robo because of the precision. And again, the recovery of the patient is very good. If you look at cancer surgery, many a times it is done as open surgery, but the concept is completely changed now. Endometrial cancers can be handled by uh, minimal access surgery. And especially with robotics, patients have a lot of benefits. The clearance is adequate. Uh, and uh, also the post-operative recovery and stay in the hospital is very less. Some very rare surgeries where robotic can play an extremely good role is tubotubal anastomosis. Now this is a procedure whereby the tubes which are already cut because of a previous ligation or any previous tubal surgeries where uh, the patient again comes back and says they want to conceive again, then the tube needs to be rejoined. Now in such cases require a lot of precision and a lot of magnification. It is very difficult to even do it laparoscopically because of the lack of that much of magnification. And also when you look at the instrument size in robotics because of it being so small, this surgery can be wonderfully done with the robotic and we find that the results of uh, tubotubal anastomosis are much better following a robotic surgery. Another area where uh, uh, robotics can play a great role is sacrocolpopexy. Now this is a procedure which uh, sometimes after hysterectomy, patients still complain that something is coming out of their vagina. This is because uh, of the weakness of the pelvic wall, sometimes the vault can descend down. So to, in order to fix this vault, this vault may be needed to fix to a bony structure like the sacrum with the help of a mesh. So this procedure is called sacrocolpopexy, usually required for women uh, who have what is called a vault prolapse. Uh, post hysterectomy or post removal of their uterus and this surgery has uh, shown fantastic results with the robotics.